Hi folks, the review fella here. We're going to unlock the deeper hidden functionality of your LG OLED TV. If you've purchased an LG OLED in recent years, you'll hopefully be enjoying one of the best TV images money can buy. You may have also noticed the plethora of settings that your TV has. It can seem rather overwhelming. LG also makes available quite a few menu options that are hidden from view, unless you know where to find them. They do this presumably because they don't think most people will need them, and they perhaps rely on the community to share this information. The TV in this video is the LG C2, but these menus should work for all LG OLED TVs bought over the last few years. I must stress that I will not be covering the LG service menu in any depth here. That's for another video. If you do want access to this menu to turn off things like auto dimming, then you'll need the service remote. You can pick this up from Amazon and I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video should that interest you. I don't recommend accessing the service menu though unless you know what you're doing. I'm guessing LG want to make this hard to access for a reason, hence the need for additional hardware like the service remote. It's also possible that you could mess up your TV or invalidate your warranty, but this doesn't apply to the following hidden menus which are easily accessed using the standard remote control. Some of them you may find more useful than others, so let's get right into it. The first the first one I'd like to show you is the VRR information window. This is accessed by pressing the green button on your remote seven times. Not really a menu, more additional panel information. It'll show you the refresh rate, state, resolution and colour information. You can then get rid of it by pressing the back button. The next hidden menu offers various settings and can be accessed by pressing the mute button three times. Notably you'll find auto power sync which will turn the TV on automatically when a compatible device is turned on or when the TV is turned off the other device will also power off. The default is on. You can also choose to remove the LG logo when shutting down your TV. This may also speed up the turning off of your panel. The default setting is on. Lastly, the no signal image can be used to turn off the gallery display when the TV doesn't detect a valid input. Instead, you'll just get a black screen and a text-based message. The default is gallery display on. Next is the HDMI signaling override menu. This can be accessed by going into settings, selecting picture from the left menu, then highlighting the picture select mode. Then press 111-3111 on your remote. This can be tricky if you leave too long a gap between button presses or don't have the correct menu option highlighted. So if it doesn't work first time, just try it again. Colorimetry will give you various options, but I leave this set to auto along with everything else. I don't recommend you change anything here unless you know what you're doing. EOTF may be of some use to you, although again I leave this as default. Choosing HLG for example, which puts the TV into hybrid log gamma HDR mode, can have some dramatic image benefits when playing SDR games. Also if your device requires HLG for HDR, such as a SkyQ box for example, and the TV isn't auto detecting this, you can force HLG on from here. But for me I don't touch any of this hidden menu. Next is the host diagnostics information window. You can access this by going to settings, then general, then programs, and highlighting program choose and settings. Then press number one on the remote five times. Rather than a menu, this is a collection of information such as TV model, memory, host release versions, Wi-Fi status, and DVI and HDMI status. Whether you find these diagnostics useful or not will depend on the type of information you're interested in. Next is the edit quick access menu. This is more of a feature than a menu. To access this, long press zero, just for a few seconds. Here you can assign your apps to a numerical button on your remote. Then all you need to do is long press the number corresponding with the app you linked for quick access. It could be useful if you access certain apps on a regular basis. And finally we have the more actions menu. You can access this by making the mouse pointer appear, which you can do by shaking the remote, then pressing the center scroll button. On the program banner that appears, press the three dots. Here you have the universal control setup, the user guide, information, and you can also turn the sport mode on and off from here. Sport mode provides preset settings for, well, watching sports. Whether you like the effect or not is another thing, but you can always try it. You also have the multi-audio option. The default is obviously going to give you the most balanced sound. Also the option to change the location of the program banner, should you wish to do so. That's all the hidden menus that I know of. If you know of any more, then please tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to the service remote if you want to dig deeper.
If you need help with the picture settings for your LG OLED, then check out one of my picture settings videos for help or drop me a comment. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. It's a big help to my small channel if you could do that for me, please. Also, please subscribe for more LG OLED and tech videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and I very much hope to catch you soon.